what is up YouTube, it is Tech UK here with the first video on my channel and it's going to be a 700k Messi squad builder now by the time you're watching this it's probably not going to be a 700k because the market's just constantly going down just because FIFA's have become shit real and they're trying to lower the price of the players to bring more people in but anyway, first player on the team is first informed De Gea I, well I could inform, I could afford second informed De Gea but I just, I just didn't want to, I didn't see a lot didn't see a lot of difference between the two, so I just bought the first one just because he's a lot cheaper anyway. Right, the left mid, I've gone for Gail Clichy. I think Moreno's the fastest left back in the Prem, but Clichy's dribbling really does it for you just because, you know, you don't go to left mid or right mid, it's gone straight up to left forward and right forward. So he does that kind of like a substitute for a left back and a left mid at the same time. Left centre back, I have gone with Rojo, you'll see why in a bit, just to get the Argentinian Manchester United link and also he gets perfect link with De Gea. So the right back, no the right centre back sorry, I've gone with Sergio Ramos. Doesn't get the link with Rojo but it doesn't matter because the players around him will get him perfect link. I've, yeah, I just really like Sergio Ramos, he's got 79 pace, 87 defending, 82 physical. And obviously there is key stats, so I bumped it up with the anchor card. And Rojo, I think, is the weakest link in this defence, but there's not really anyone else you can place for him in this hybrid. Right back, I've gone with DeMarcos, just the fastest right back in BBVA, so I've just gone with him. And then the right centre mid, I've gone with Luka Modric. He's, I tried, I had him for Mesco, but it didn't really work, because his defending weren't really good enough. But 71 defending on Modric, it's not the best, but you know, medium work rates at the back. It is, he is good enough, you'll see when you play him on your team. Centre, centre mid, I've gone with Enzo Perez. Just a solid all round player. This is when I'm looking for, a, when you've got three in midfield, you always need at least one person that's going to stay back. So he's got the high, medium, the high defensive work rate, sorry. And he's just got well-rounded stats. He's got 81 pace, 82 dribbling, 73 shots, 76 defending. And you can just see his lowest stats 73, which is his shooting. But you're not going to shoot him anyway because he's playing like a CDM. So I'd say his lowest real stat that he's going to use is 76, which is his defending. The left centre mid, we've gone with Di Maria. That is the main reason why we've got Rojo here. It's just so he can get that perfect link. I haven't tried having another centre back there, but. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to, probably going to have someone that plays for Man U or maybe Man City. You could probably get Koscielny in there. It'll get perfectly cliche. You know, for Arsenal, you could experiment with teams that you could put as centre back. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to risk it. I'm not going to break the squad apart because it's doing good enough for me already. So right forward. Never mind. I can't go change him. They get perfect chemistry anyway. Carlos Vela, I did have informed Carlos Vela, but then I tried just normal Carlos Vela and honestly there's no difference at all. You, you wonder why no one's actually buying the informed. It's just it's not terrible, it's just not an improvement. There's no point spending like 100 k more. Oh, I think it's gone down to like 80k now. Something like that. Just because no one's buying him. Left wing or left forward should I say. I've just gone for no concept. I've just gone for the Argentinian link, we've got Perez, we've got Di Maria, so I've just gone for Lovetsi. He's got a cracking right foot on him. His weak foot, I never have to use it because he's one of the players that you always cut inside on and just blast it. I think he's got a really powerful shot. So as soon as you get in the box, you can just free bar it and it just goes in every time. Now obviously, up front, we've gone for Messi. You can see there, these two wingers get nine chemistry. You don't need to change the position. Messi up front, he's just been phenomenal. 18 played and he's created 35 goals. He's just... Right, let's just roll onto the clips just to show you how good he is. 